what do I say? I'm, I'm going to keep it characteristically brief because um, if I could bottle up that feeling of standing in that uh, royal box and watching this show and keep that forever for life, I would. Um, I, That's the only real currency we can work. Oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say that with me. Um, um, that's the only real currency we have. And my instinct of this show all the way through was, I think this is a thing. I think this is a thing. <laughs> um, um, my, my wonderful co-producer, Bill Kenwright, said to me many, many years ago, Paul, you'll have that one show. And I was so, so blessed. I had In the Heights, and I thought, that's my one show. <laughs> standing on this stage and all of us got into theatre because when we were some of your ages um, we had that fire in our stomach which is the thing that gets us out of bed in the morning and the thing that makes us want to do this profession and to know that you've made work that has reached people like this is the best feeling in the world um, I think you're all mad I know you all can't tell me I mean you're mad but I love you but you're all mad um, but knowing that you've created something that has got that power to engage an audience means the world to all of us. Um, I have to thank Bill Kenwright, my co-producer. To Hamish Greer, he's not on here because he makes me do all of these speeches. <laughs> Hamish is the person that you never see, but I call him every day. We deal with all the dramas of Heather's. Not that there's any other drama, ever. <laughs> um, but finally, there's um, three people that I have to thank. And two of them aren't here. But um, Larry, Kevin, and Andy Fickman. <laughs> keeps me going is when someone trusts you and someone takes that leap of faith in you. Um, so I'm going to leave you with the thought, if you have an instinct to do something, do it. Because the only person that can do it is you. Um, and along the way, I have it, some shows happen easily and some don't. And on paper, Heather shouldn't have worked. Um, <laughs> lots of people told me not to do it. And look where we are now. But I'm feeling nice. Here's some advice. Listen up, Yaj. <laughs> this kind of dedication, this kind of love is, is astonishing. Um, as my brilliant wife, Nell Benjamin, says, you don't go into theater because you hate drama. <laughs> um, if you're here, it's probably because you have seen drama in your life and you want a safe place to experience it instead of the world. Um, you have made my life safer. You have made this show uh, a better. Um, these wonderful people have taken the ball that we invented in, in LA and New York, and they've taken it farther than we could ever have imagined. The show is different because of them, the show is better because of them, the show is better because of you. Um, so, yeah, thank you. <laughs> because of you specifically. <laughs> we'll talk after you say. <laughs> but, uh, I, I, I just want to thank a bunch of people. There are important people to thank, and I know we, we uh, have a lot of programs, there's a lot of uh, internet information about these people, but their names should be spoken. First of all, our wonderful band. <laughs> and really happy. Yeah. Um, at the other palace, you got to see their silhouettes in the windows, now they are buried deep beneath the earth. <laughs> um, and their names are on trumpet Georgina Bramalow. <laughs> on lead, he 
Katie Duke Hunter. <laughs> on bass, Robin Brown. <laughs> Our guitarist on opening night uh, of, of uh, Other Palace and here was Emily Linden. <laughs> She has gone off to be more expensive than we can afford. But uh, in place is the beautiful and talented Gareth Lisky. Uh, on drums is the inimitable Becky Brass. And on keyboard, the unstoppable, the incomparable, the very patient music director uh, extraordinaire. Uh, we are in her debt, Simona Budd. We've been trying to name the band. Uh, we can never figure out what it is. I think their name is The Brain Freezes. Uh, uh, other important names, really important people who make the sound work, who make the show work. Dan Sampson, sound designer, Izzy Rush, sound operator. Uh, our um, music department, uh, Rich Morris and Gary Hickson. We also have to say thank you to people who have been on this stage, or who have been on the other palace stage, and are the best on earth. Uh, names like Ed Barua from the other palace. Yeah. Um, our lately departed John Boyden. <laughs> the adorable, incomparable Rebecca Locke. <laughs> is he here? Where the hell is Sergio? Just to leave you with this, uh, just a couple things. I have a six-year-old daughter, and she is the world to me and to my wonderful wife, Nell Benjamin. Uh, hopefully, when she is 17, the world will be hopefully better. You want a better world. I'm not saying our show is going to do a good job of making the world better, but hopefully, if you take anything away from this, you're going to make the world better. And you're going to make the world better. So thank you. Uh, I got to thank my family. My brother Mark O'Keefe is here. My brother Dan O'Keefe and his family is in London. Also, our second family, the Reverend Joanna Jepson, is here. We also have to thank uh, Bill Kenwright. Uh, Lord Andrew Lloyd Webber, without him, this would not have happened. Uh, all I can say is, we're going to miss you. Um, just, oh, thank you. But just, you know, just keep, keep reading the internet. Just see what happens. Um, and, you know, if you... Um, the, you know, and of course, you know, if you, if you, if you, you know, get a hankering for the, you know, the tunes, uh, maybe... Keep checking iTunes at some point. I'm not going to say anything else, but just to leave you with one more thought. Um, the Brooklyn Dodgers baseball team, before they moved to Los Angeles, they would never win a pennant. They could never win the World Series. They would get close. They would never win. But they would always say the same thing. And I'm going to say it um, now. Just wait till next year.